Hi guys, as you have seen in my previous video, I made a voltage booster circuit in which I gave an input voltage of 3.5 volts and I got an output amplified voltage of 6.7 volts DC. For those of you who have seen the video, well and good, otherwise you can watch it by clicking on the link provided in the description. So anyways guys, in this video I am going to make a simple but amazing change to this circuit with which I will be able to charge a 12 volts battery with an input supply of just 3.5 volts DC. This is a 50 volts 1000 microfarad capacitor that I am going to connect to the output terminals of the rectifier to enhance the output voltage of the circuit. Also guys, DC capacitors have polarity so they have to be connected accordingly. The red crocodile clip is for the positive terminal and the black crocodile clip is for the negative terminal. So guys, even though low battery is connected to the circuit, the multimeter is still showing 9 volts that is because the capacitor is already charged so I have to discharge it first and then test it again. Here I am using a screw to short circuit the terminals of the capacitor to bring its voltage down to zero. So guys as you can see the same circuit that produced 6.7 volts DC with an input supply of 3.5 volts DC initially is now easily going beyond 10 volts, 12 volts and so on finally stabilizing at 19.5 volts DC so guys uh, capacitors really play an important part in your circuits especially at the output for amplification so guys this is a 12 volts Ameron battery that is used in Royal Enfields motorcycles and as you can see that it is very discharged showing 8.44 volts and it should be 12 volts so guys here I am going to use this handmade circuit to charge this battery with just an input supply of 3.5 volts DC So guys here I am going to connect this DC motor to this battery to check if it can power the motor up. So guys as you can see even though the load is so small still it is not able to power up the motor and as soon as I connect the terminals of the motor to the battery the voltage indicated on the multimeter drops to even 1.5 or 2 volts DC that indicates that the battery is very discharged. As you can see, as soon as I connected the cell, the voltage on the multimeter started increasing rapidly which indicates that the battery is charging. So even though it is charging, it will take long time to charge this 7AH battery. So for that reason, I am going to speed up the charge by using two cells in series. Which means I am going to give an input voltage of 7 volts to the circuit so that the battery charges faster. Now I am going to disconnect the cells to check if the battery has attained some charge. So guys as you can see even though the cells have been disconnected the battery is still able to hold around 11 volts on its terminals and yes it is also capable of operating the DC motor for some time because the voltage indicated on the multimeter is dropping really quick so I have to keep the cells connected for a longer period of time to get some solid volts and to reduce the speed of voltage drop.
so guys that would be all about the video thank you so much for watching it please hit like and don't forget to share and subscribe thank you